receiving a lot of requests for a how-to video. So today I'm going to teach you one of my personal favorites, the Switch Bar Spin. So first step, obviously you're going to want to grab your bike. If you don't have a bike, there really is no purpose for you to continue watching this video other than the fact that you should go out and buy a bike. So visit www.cocrew.com, get yourself a complete bike, or just ball out and custom build one. Feel free to use code PANZA for 15% off your entire purchase. Now that is a discount. You should definitely be comfortable with regular bar spins before you attempt to try them switch. If your right foot forward, you would throw it clockwise with your right hand. If your left foot forward, you would throw it counterclockwise with your left hand. If you learn them switch first, that might potentially mess you up when trying to add a bar spin into a spin. If you happen to be goofy footed or shit footed, you're pretty much f***ed and that's unfortunate. But continue watching because I'm going to help you out. Also the advice that I'm about to give you may help for regular bar spins as well as obviously switch bar spins. Before we even attempt the trick, the first thing you're going to want to do is find something you can either wedge your back wheel into or lean against. Whether or not it is a wall, a bench, whatever it may be. Now you want to pull up the front end of your bike and learn the motion. For switch bars, you want to throw the handlebars toward your front foot. So use the opposite hand to sling it around and get comfortable with tossing it this way. As you can see here, I am right foot forward and I am throwing it with my left hand. I catch it with the right hand first and then my left hand afterwards. This is the correct way for a switch bar spin. Some people do the reach around, others throw it. Personally, I think the reach around looks bad. Growing up, I looked up to this man right here, Dennis Anderson. I tried to copy exactly how he did his bar spins, so I let go completely. I would recommend practicing this over and over until it feels normal. Now once you have that down and feel comfortable, I would recommend trying to do a pull-up bar. This is not necessary, but I do believe it is key to learning the trick. Getting comfortable tossing it while riding your bike without leaving the ground can be very helpful and also a total confidence booster. So I usually put my back foot on the peg to help stay balanced and also help pull up my front end. If you're someone who rides a low seat, now is the time to raise it. You do not need pegs to do the pull-up bar, but having that back peg definitely does help. If you are one of those sad, lonely, pegless riders, I do recommend that you put on pegs. It changes the game and opens you up to so many new tricks. And for that reason, I'm gifting you with a 15% off discount code so you can buy yourself some new pegs. Visit www.coldcrew.com, add some plastic butter pegs to your cart, and feel free to use code PANZA for 15% off your entire purchase. The link is always in the description below. Alright, now back to the switch bar. Find a local skate park or ramp of some sort because you do not want to learn switch bar spins flat. Now don't get me wrong, it is possible and I know I've seen other tutorials like this one right here where Travis uses teaching you how to do it on flat ground. And going to a parking lot outside, anywhere really with flat ground. No, 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 no. In order to gain confidence and have more control, I think it's reasonable to say that you're going to need a ramp of some sort. Learning bunny hop switch bar spins first is a lot harder. So we're going to the skate park. We are here at one of my local skate parks in Greenlawn, New York, better known as Hunt's. Pretty much the best skate park in Long Island in my opinion. Every ramp here I believe is over 4 feet, so today I'm going to be using the entire park. But first, let's just start on the fly box. You should wear a helmet when attempting any trick. This one specifically, and it doesn't hurt to have some sort of protection. When attempting the trick, it's important to give yourself time to throw any and catch the handlebars before you land. I'm going to assume that you are comfortable with flying out of a ramp, but if not, you should definitely get used to the transition that you are using and getting over the fear of flying out of the ramp before you let go of the handlebars. Once you are comfortable with the ramp you are using, I would go a moderate speed. Not too fast where you're going to clear the box jump, but also not slow enough to where you're barely making it out of the ramp. Find the speed that you're comfortable with, and once you've got that down, it's time to throw the handlebars. When coming out of the ramp, it is super important to level out your bike. You don't want to be leaning too far forward, nor do you want to be leaning too far back. You want to be in between, and you want to be balanced. You want to throw the handlebars as you are going up, but also at the same time, you want to level the bike out, that way you don't lose control. When letting go of the handlebars, take off the hand you're catching with first, then proceed with the throwing hand. Watch my hands carefully as I I do it in slow motion. My right hand comes off first, then my left hand throws the handlebars counterclockwise. It is important to keep your eyes on the handlebars and watch them as they rotate, that way you can catch with the opposite hand. As the handlebar is in rotation, you're going to want to catch it at 270 degrees, just before it is full rotation, that way you have time to catch the throwing hand before you land. You might notice that my legs are very close to each other. This is where having a higher seat helps. I've seen a lot of other tutorials where people tell you to pinch your seat. I wouldn't stress over that too much, it almost happens naturally and your body doesn't even think of it. This helps stay Stabilize the bike so it doesn't go sideways, which you may or may not have experienced while attempting the trick. My best advice to you is, 
Stay focused, be determined, don't give up, and follow these steps. You might run into a situation where your handlebar hits your knee. It may be best to run somewhat of a smaller handlebar when learning this trick. The switch bar is most definitely an awkward trick, but once you've got it down, it'll feel just like a normal bar spin. It's time to take it to other obstacles. Something with less transition and not a quarter pipe, possibilities and now that you can switch bar you can add it into almost anything you want yes it took about a thousand tries but shout out to Tom for helping me film it you with learning the switch bar spin and maybe even regular bar spins if you're still struggling maybe watch this video with headphones while you ride that might help if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more tutorial videos in the future feel free to leave a comment down below also we are creeping up on 30,000 subscribers so if you haven't already participated in my bicycle giveaway and want a chance to win my bike watch this video right here it will be linked down in the description below thank you guys for watching and until next time peace